Hey what's going on everyone this is Kedar here and today's video is gonna be really helpful for you if you are installing you know lots of operating systems and things like that. Here's the thing. Let's say you want to install an operating system. First of all you have to take your data out of your main PC then make sure you have backups of all the apps you have, data and things like that. In the end you know it's a time consuming thing. Now let's say you want to install an operating system for just a 10 minute job. It's like a quick test or things like that. What are you gonna do? You gonna install in your main system? No obviously not. So today in this video I'm going to show you a quick little trick through which you can get any operating system up and running without you know disturbing your main PC and the most important thing is you don't have to go through pain of installing it and guys watch this video till the end because I'm going to show you how you can run any operating system on your phone yeah you heard it right so without further ado let's get started here you can see I opened up the website and wow guys first looks is really amazing you can see all the operating systems are divided in alphabetical order so there are like uh, hundreds of OS right over here. You can simply one click on it and get the OS up and running. That's really cool. And you know guys, you don't have to go through the pains of installing your operating system. Now the list of operating system goes on and on. Some of the useful ones I can see, which is Android x86. Also we have all the versions of Linux, basically Kali Linux, uh, Bliss OS, DPN OS, Fedora OS, uh, Phoenix OS, uh, Garuda Linux, Kali Linux and uh, you know this website was designed for you know testing all the Linux distros and this website is called distrotest.net and their slogan is kind of a thoughtful test it before you hate it. Anyways guys so let's start an operating system so here I'm going to choose peer OS so let's click on start and there you go. You don't have to do anything else uh, you can see there is your username and password talking about the things you can do well basically it's a VM so you can choose and upload your files and you know experiment with it and the fact that you can use any operating system in your phone is really cool so without a further ado let's start our VM and let's see how we can use it up so there we go guys uh, the waiting time is fairly small so there we go we got our link uh, you can open the vnc viewer to see your virtual machine and there we go and boom you can see the os works really flawlessly and i really like the fact that i can you know use any os just like that so here we go i you know switched to windows fx so let's see how it runs so boom there you go i opened up the vm and in just few minutes i am set it up and i am using windows fx right there for you know basic day to day testing related stuff this is a really great tool talking about the performance well it's sufficient enough to do your test and things like that i started a obs and you know definitely video recording is possible over there and other os talking about android x86 here you can see this is how it runs don't expect you know gaming level performance but it's certainly good enough to you know do your stuff and test it now to use any operating system on your phone you can download VNC Viewer remote desktop application from Play Store and there you can simply put your username and password and there you have it guys. Now you can able to use any operating system on your Android device as well. So here we go I'm pasting my address and then give it a test name and that's pretty much it. Now let's click on connect and boom now you can see there you go our windows is up and running in our android device talking about the navigation well you can certainly use your small touch screen to navigate onto windows and particularly you can scroll onto entire desktop like this also uh, you can see i can able to navigate onto my windows pretty well and you can able to switch the os in a flick of a switch so there it is guys, now you know how you can get your operating system up and running without any worries. You can run any OS in just like that. Please do hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.